How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to clear your iPhone RAM memory. Therefore, make it faster because when you use too much of a RAM memory or maybe all of it, your performance will slow down. All right. So what I love about this process is it's universal. So it works on any and all iPhone models. So it works from the iPhone 1 all the way to the iPhone 13 series. As you can see here, I have two iPhones in front of me and that's because there are two different methods. Method number one for iPhones with a home button and method number two for iPhones without. And of course, I'm gonna show you both methods covering all iPhone models. So I got you covered. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, let's start here with the older iPhones first. And as I said, method number one goes for the iPhone one all the way to the iPhone eight and eight plus. Of course, this is an iPhone eight. And the process itself is actually very, very simple, guys. All you have to do is press and hold the power button, which depending on your iPhone model will be right here on the side or right here at the top. So press and hold your power button. So press and hold for a few seconds, keep holding, and you'll see here the slide to power off screen. And at this point, all you have to do is press and hold the home button, the physical home button. So press and hold for a few seconds as well. So press and hold. As you can see, I'm pressing and holding, keep holding, keep holding until you see this, a screen asking you to type in your lock screen. So this, means your RAM memory has been reset, has been cleared. So all you have to do is type in your passcode and then you're good to go. Your iPhone will feel much faster because the RAM memory has been cleared, all right? So again, this is method number one for iPhones with a physical home button. Now, for iPhones without a physical home button, which are the iPhone 10, 10R, 10S, 11 series, 12 series, and 13 series, which is this case right here. And since we don't have a home button, we have to do it without buttons, but with the system, with the software. But it's also very, very simple. All you have to do is tap on your settings, and then right there at the top on the search bar, you're gonna look for assistive touch. So type in assistive, you see right there, assistive touch. So tap there, and then you see right there, assistive touch, so tap on that. And then all you have to do is enable it. Just like that, you see the little uh, ball, this little ball, this little circle right here. Now, all you have to do is come back because we need to come back to the first screen on our settings. So you can cancel and come back to the first screen. As you can see right here, first screen on settings. And then you're gonna need to scroll down, tap on general, and then scroll all the way down to the last option, which is shut down. So tap on shut down, and then we'll see a very similar screen as we saw on the iPhone 8, the slide to power off screen. And now you're gonna tap on the assistive touch, and then tap and hold on the home, as you can see right there. So tap and hold on this little home button right there, the virtual home button that will show up. So tap and hold on the button, and as you can see, instantly it shows us the display asking us to put on the passcode and all you have to do is type in the passcode tap on ok and as you can imagine same story as on the iphone 8 the ram memory has been cleared that's it the tutorial is as simple as that if you want to you can go back to settings and of course disable assistive touch if you don't like it uh, or you can leave it on the screen no problem at all but the thing here is your iphone is ready it will be much faster because your RAM memory won't be so full and that's literally it. So that's it and I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye bye.